Hello friends, my name is Raza Masood. Today we shall discuss about a topic that what is business justification. Friend, today's topic is very interesting, very important with respect to project management, especially if you are dealing with uh, multiple types of projects and you have to deal with implementation of multiple projects. So let's uh, start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that many videos can reach to you. So let's uh, start, friend. What is business justification, friend? And this is a topic which we have taken from the PIMBO guide project management body of knowledge and uh, today we will see that in actual what does it mean by business justification uh, this topic basically pertains to implementation of any project whenever we are going to implement any project we are going to initiate any project we need a business justification generally it is also called as business case as well business justification and business case these are the two uh, synonym terms which are interchangeably used so business case or business justification means if you just see these two terms business justification that means whenever you are going to initiate any project you need justification you need a reason that why you are going to start any project what are the reason that you want to start a project for example uh, you want to, uh, you are working in any bank for example and you want to uh, initiate a project that you want to implement a mobile application through which customers can do the fund transfer for example so here the business case or business justification means that in actual why bank needs to implement a mobile application why they need to implement because they can increase the customer satisfaction they can increase the revenue they can re increase the uh, they can increase the uh, customer facilitation so due to that reason uh, they can uh, launch a mobile application they can decrease their operational cost as well they can decrease their uh, the uh, uh, human resource cost as well because all the work is doing through the mobile application so business justification or so-called business case prepared for the project is one of the foundation for its implementation okay it allows to assess the desirability reasonableness and purposeness of future activities and to assess the probability of success of implementation in the short and long-term perspective that means that whenever you are making a business justification or business case though so that means you are basically telling the uh, organization that what are the reason you need to initiate a project what are the probability or chances of success and actually what is the objective and if you don't do that uh, things so what will happen what are the consequences of that for example if you don't launch a mobile application so what are the consequences because the other uh, your competitor bank is also launching a mobile application so if you don't launch so the other bank is launching so that means they can increase their customer uh, base they can increase their revenue they can increase their customer satisfaction they can more facilitate their customers so obviously you will lose the chances as well uh, the content of business justification the business justification should specify why the idea should be implemented idea means the project basically should be implemented as a project and how to focus on the general purpose of the organization it is the driving force behind the project and its formal basis okay so that means if you are going to launch a project so actually what is the aim objective of the project and what are the advantages of uh, the project if you launch it uh, the elements of business justification first of all the executive summary uh, should be a business justification does think of this as a word document okay as a document which describe all those things executive summary executive summary means high level summary of the project description of the need or opportunity that what is what is the actual opportunity if you do what are the advantages you can achieve from uh, the launching of the project then a description of alternative options of achieving the benefits like these are the main things if you don't do that what are the alternate options available uh, the, to achieve the benefits what are the alternative options then detailed analysis of the expected benefits here this is a very important part because see uh, this should be clearly mentioned that in terms of uh, 
benefits benefit means that for example you can increase the employee satisfaction you can increase the revenue so in detail not only uh, a high level it should be detailed mentioned that what are the benefits you are expecting to receive analysis of the expected permanent or periodic side effects of the project like what are the consequences what are the side effects of the project should be mentioned clearly implementation schedule combined with cost and benefits arising in the project like for example in one year you will complete the project in two years you will complete the project and what are the benefits along with the cost you will achieve like for, for example you will incur five thousand dollar cost and you will achieve for example seven thousand as a benefit for as a uh, profit so so far so uh, you have to mention the uh, uh, the time duration cost and benefits as well cost estimation should be clearly mentioned in the business uh, document that what are the cost estimate it should include all the cost cost means the life cycle cost like the implementation cost the license cost the operational cost so all those types of costs should be clearly mentioned in the uh, business document this is very important then the assessment of economic efficiency the economically how much it is important like how much benefits how much uh, benefit you will get in terms of economy in the last identification of the risk possible to occur in the project what are the risk uh, like for example uh, you have noticed you have observed that the project which you are suggesting in terms of business you don't have that particular type of uh, technology expertise in your hand so what you will do or what will be the case what will be the risk like obviously you don't have the uh, proper expertise are available so you should have to mention to your management that the required expertise you don't have that uh, you don't have the uh, required knowledge uh, for example your company uh, does not have the required knowledge or expertise in particular domain for example so these are the risks and uh, these risks could become a uh, biggest uh, failure or a uh, risk for the company so what you will do in that case you must have to give the uh, suggestion or solution of that risk as well remember the friend that uh, it is not the good approach that to just highlight the risk you should have to mention the uh, risk mitigation approach as well that if that risk occur if that risk happens so what is the uh, what is the appropriate solution what is the appropriate solution of risk mitigation how you can mitigate that uh, risk so it is also very important so in the business justification document you need to mention the risk and also you have to mention the risk mitigation approach as well that how you can mitigate that particular uh, risk as well so uh, thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching the video thank you